Good morning. It is um, 7.02 a.m. on Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Um, <clears throat> up early again, because it's, uh, you know, back to the office again. This is a busy week at work. You know, I, I go through periods where I'm doing a lot of document work, which is easier to do from home. But then uh, there's some phases where when you're working with the machines, hard to do that from home. So off I go. Um, but, uh, you know, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. What did I do yesterday? I feel like my brain is mushy right now. Um, I did a, another workout in Supernatural, which is a VR fitness thing on the Oculus Quest 2. I mentioned I got one of those, right? God, I can't even remember now. I did. If I didn't say it before. Like, my brain seriously feels really mushy this morning. I don't know why. I feel like I dribble out my ears. Um... <laughs> Uh, but uh, Supernatural is a, like a fitness app for it that I had. I'm sure I mentioned it in a previous video. Anyway, uh, it's part of the reason that I got it. And so I did another uh, workout uh, with it. It's basically got a lot of stuff that where it just makes you look like you're in some beautiful natural environment. And then you're doing like, uh, they call it like boxing where you're sort of punching 3D targets that fly at you to music and uh, then there's one called flow where it's like you have two bats that you're hitting with the targets and uh, then I guess there's meditation ones and stretching ones too although I haven't um, I haven't tried those those modes yet uh, but uh, they also have uh, coaches kind of talking you through it and I it's interesting because I, I have a complicated relationship with people trying to talk to me while I exercise. I'm not sure what it comes from exactly, but I, I have this weird sort of vague sense whenever I work out that it's almost like, not like it's a secret, but that it's private. Um, like, so even when I was going to the gym, it's fine, like, if other people see me, but I'm, they do their thing and I do my thing, and it's not a, it's not a group activity. That's kind of how it works in my brain, but again, it's like, rationally, I, I obviously understand that there's no reason it has to be that way, and then a lot of people actually find it very valuable to have someone actually there to give support, and in some cases, it can be really important, because if you have someone who really knows what they're doing, they can offer you advice to make sure you're not doing something incorrectly, um, in a way that might get, hurt yourself, or something like that, so I understand all that emotionally, or rationally, but rather, uh, nonetheless, the idea that there would be another person actually there to interact with me has, in the past, actually dissuaded me from exercising at all, um, Whereas this seems like, you know, it, it's definitely not a live person, but it's sort of emulating that. And it, without wanting to say that these very nice people seem like robots, that's not what I mean, that there's nothing robot-like about them per se, other than the fact that I know that they aren't really there. It's a recording, right? It's a recording in a 3D video so that it makes it seem like they're there in the in the VR space and they're talking to me, but I know that it's not based on an actual living person right there. And so that somehow makes my brain think it's okay. And so I get some of that benefit without it triggering that weird... It's almost like making it them slightly in the uncanny valley makes it better for me somehow. Hmm, I don't know. In any case, uh, I'm feeling kind of sore right now from from that exercise, but uh, it's it's good stuff. Um, oh, that was the other thing. See, like I kept sitting here feeling like I did a thing for a couple hours yesterday, and I can't remember what it was. 
I watched a movie called How Green Was My Valley. And I watched this movie specifically. It's one of the movies for, um, we're, we're doing watching 100 movies where we're specifically talking about movies that won the Best Picture Oscar over other famous movies. And in this case, this movie called How Green Was My Valley won over Citizen King, which is, there's wide consensus that Citizen Kane is one of, if not the best movies of all time. Um, and then this How Green Was My Valley, which is a movie I feel like I never hear anyone talking about. It's not even on the AFI list, but it won Best Picture that year. And so uh, I watched it. And here's the thing. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, I see what the, there's definitely lots to like about it, but it also very much feels like an ambitious but otherwise ordinary uh, movie of that time period where, whereas Citizen Kane, I think, endures because of how kind of revolutionary it was at the time, whereas... Uh, How Green Was My Valley feels very um, prosaic in in comparison. But, um, and and also, here's the thing that I just, I, I was able to mostly get over, but supposedly, like, the whole premise of this thing is that it's taking place in this um, coal mining valley in Wales, in the UK. And everybody talks like they're from Maine in a cartoon. Yes, well, this is how we talk in Wales, apparently. All of the characters talk like this, which, if you've ever heard anyone talk from Wales, uh, that's not what they sound like, but this is what everybody in the movie sounds like. <laughs> and it never stopped being funny. <laughs> but I was mostly able to get past it just because... Uh, anyway, um, I, I guess it does maybe make sense that they worried people <laughs> wouldn't be able to understand a real Welsh accent, which can be tricky. In any case, I'm going to leave it there and talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.